everyone. My name is Michael Hall and I'm in this new cafe community in the Chelsea Arcade. Uh, it's absolutely amazing the changes that have been taking place here. I'm talking to Matt and he uh, looks after this, this place, Alice's Alco. And I'm gobsmacked. Everything is here. The beer, the wine, and I'll let him talk about it. Uh, but he's got a real passion about it. And we've seen this place come alive, especially on the weekends. People are coming down here, uh, they're enjoying a glass of wine or a beer with their friends, they're ordering a pizza from over there, and they make a night of it. It's absolutely fantastic. In summertime, this place will be absolutely amazing. Matt, yes. tell us about it. Why did you do this? Yeah. Um, well, firstly, we, we did it so that we could separate the two businesses, the cafe and the um, alcohol and the deli because COVID made us have different restrictions and we couldn't do what we wanted to do in the one room. So we separated it into two. So now we have the cafe bar over the other side and here we have all of the bar stuff that had to come out plus the deli. So we love local. So we're doing, you know, we've got the keeping local alive on, right? So we love local. So most everything we have is local to Victoria, generally. Uh, we do have some internationals, but their internationals are different to what you get everywhere else as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you've got such a variety here, you're gonna to have to show us I can. what you've got. Take us over and we'll talk through this. The cider at the far end, all really local. So uh, Yarra Valley, Mornington Peninsula, um, local stuff, and Tasmania as well, we love Tasmania. Right. We've got beers from all over the place. Uh, we've got Shepparton Brewery, Hot Pen from Lilydale, Cavalier, local in Melbourne, Hot Nation in Melbourne. We've got Dayton Brewery just down the road um, in Caram Downs. We have our internationals, different to everyone else. We've got Brayside Brewing, finally enough, located in Mordialic. But that's cool. We've got Moon Dog as well from over. Um, Matt, the, other, the other day, yes. you were showing me some of the uh, spirits. Yes. And I said, where are they from? You said they're local. Yes, all the way from Bomb Beach. <laughs> can you show us some of those? I can do that. Too. Hey, good. We have to go. So for the spirits, we have um, the organic bay, which is made in Bomb Beach. It's down the road, not far That's away. Amazing. At all. That's amazing. That's um, amazing. We've got the Boat Rocker Gym, which is made in Brayside. We have the, the gin fusions made in, in the peninsula. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, hemp gin, hemp vodka, and they're made in Gippsland. 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 Yeah. Seaford. Um, Morty Alec. Yeah. Um, some more vodkas that are flavoured. One tastes like apple pie. Wow. Like apple pie. And it's made on the Mornington Peninsula. And then we have the rums. Well, yeah, amazing. Not that you can call them rum, but. The Jimmy Rum is made on Dramana, wow. so all local as we can get. Yeah. So we do That's keep amazing. all of those local. We have a couple of little international bits because it's hard to get to Kilo from Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about the wine? Where have we got the wine? The Ballerine Peninsula. Yep. Um, beautiful reds out of the Ballerine. Um, we have the Clarin Vale, of course. We have some from Canberra. We've got the Scotchman's Hill artisans out of Adelaide Hills. Yeah. And we try and keep it all Aussie. Yep. And a little bit French. Okay. And that goes with our cheeses <laughs> in the deli as well. So. Oh, deli, yeah, yes. yeah. Wow. Come and show us the deli. Okay. We've got some, some vegan produce. Yeah. And then we have local produce. We're going to move to organics yep. as well. And then we have the cheeses. So some locals. Some Tasmanian and some French. Yeah. French, and they, they make cheese. They do, they do, they do. And then we get the local meats, which is from Fabrice, uh, which is a, a local market. Uh, yeah. Sorry, they're just in. Meg, where are the Fabrice located? Campbellfield. Campbellfield. So yeah. they're just a small deli meats manufacturer. Yeah. Campbellfield. Yeah. So we keep it as local as we can. Although we do have the Spanish in mind because the Spanish know how to do that. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> wow, and how long have you been operating here with this setup? 
August 2020, so yeah. between lockdown two and three, yeah. I think yeah. it was, yeah. somewhere in there, yeah. um, when we separated out yeah. the two businesses. Yeah. What a great opportunity. I'm going to talk to Meg afterwards about the other place. It's really good. This is fascinating and I can see why it's going to become very popular. We hope so. It will. That's what we're planning for. Yeah. We want to offer something that's different for everyone. Yeah. Right? Good. Nothing here is the standard stuff. Good. So there's, good. We, we stick to independence as much as we can. I don't yeah. Know. Okay. Terrific. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. You're welcome. Uh, we'll be back to just look at the crowd, but we want to talk to you when it's a bit quiet. So yes. Okay. You can tell us what was going on. It's all right. On. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks.